Hi, Lupe. My name is Krista. I'm your nurse. Hello. I'm going to draw your blood, okay? Okay. Select the site for venipuncture. If you can't see a vein to use, you can apply warm compresses for several minutes before applying the tourniquet. Apply the tourniquet three to four inches above the site and encircle the extremity. Pull one end of the tourniquet tightly over the other, looping one end under the other. Then find a superficial, easily palpated vein. Have the client hold his arm dependently and instruct him to open and close his fist several times. Lightly tap the vein you have chosen. Next, you will want to clean the site. Place the thumb of your non-dominant hand over the vein to be punctured and retract the skin away from the direction of the needle insertion. Retract the skin near the vena puncture site so the skin is taut. Be sure that you warn the client of the needle stick. Hold the needle in your dominant hand with the bevel up at a 30 degree angle and insert the needle slightly distal to the actual entry point into the vein. When you can see that there is blood return and the needle is successfully in the vein, insert the blood tube into the vacutainer holder. When blood is no longer flowing into the blood tube, remove the tube from the vacutainer holder and insert the next tube. The one-handed thing is we try. Repeat until all the tubes of blood have been filled. Release the tourniquet. After you have removed the last blood tube from the vacutainer holder, place a 2x2 two two gauze on the venipuncture site and withdraw the needle. Ensure the safety of the needle device by using the safety feature. Dispose in a sharps container. Be sure you hold pressure on the venipuncture site until the bleeding has stopped. This also reduces the chance of the client developing a hematoma. Then cover the site with a 2x2 two two gauze and a piece of tape. Label the blood tubes according to your institution's policy and send the specimens to the lab.